The Reds are at Andrew Street this afternoon looking to extend their unbeaten run to seven games against a team one place and two points behind them in the table. Morris hooks the ball to the edge of the area. Hughes gets a flick on but Torpy is able to clear. Kennedy's layoff though is intercepted and it falls for Curley. He gives it to Hughes who goes for goal but well, that's never going to trouble Christopher. Hughes to Curley. He's shepherded though by Torpy out of the area. Now Mather comes across to help out but Curley gets past both of them. Puts a cross into the box. There's Jacobs with a looping header. It goes over Christopher into the back of the net. And Chatterton take the lead on 19 minutes. Curly got past Torpy and Mather far too easily. And then Jacobs was under no pressure as he guided his header over Christopher into the back of the net. Brown to Adam Edwards. Who plays in Gareth Edwards in behind Tui. He shoots, but it's a comfortable take for Christopher. Torpy with a long throw in into the area. Shaw gets ahead to it. Melvin helps it on its way and so does Hughes. Torpy puts the ball back into the box where Chart's at the back post. But under pressure from Gareth Edwards, he can't get his effort on target and it goes harmlessly over. Curley picks up the ball in space inside his own half. Advances into the AFC Liverpool half and Torpy backs off inviting him on. His pass is intercepted but it falls for Hughes who plays in Adam Edwards whose first time shot is palmed away by Christopher. And the AFC Liverpool keeper who's been largely untroubled save for the goal has to be alert there as we approach half time. And that's a mistake by Edwards and McGann robs him and shoots low and Swanson has to deal with it. And inside the first 10 seconds of this second half, AFC Liverpool have been more threatening than they were in the previous 45 minutes. Torpy finds McGann. He knocks it down for Kennedy. First time shot into the side net in. And things are definitely looking more positive for AFC Liverpool in this second half. Quinn with a tackle and it breaks for Chart. He shoots from the edge of the area, but it's straight at Swanson. AFC Liverpool are definitely imposing themselves more on this game in this second half, and that's two chances in quick succession. And Swanson's kick downfield isn't dealt with, and Curley is hauled down on the edge of the area by McCluskey. And just when it looked like AFC Liverpool were getting back into this match, it seems as though they self-destructed and the referee appears to have awarded Chatterton a penalty. And from this position, that seems to be the wrong decision. And the AFC Liverpool players are protesting and pointing the referee in the direction of the linesman. And it appears as though he's going to consult with his colleague. But in reality, AFC Liverpool shouldn't even be in this position. One simple kick downfield by the keeper caused all the confusion and consultation over the referee walks back into the area. No, he's changed his mind and he's going to have another word with his colleague. So let's take another look at the incident. As Curley races onto the ball, McCluskey grabs him by his arm, but it's definitely outside the area. And how can the referee award that as a penalty? Consultation with the linesman over. The referee produces a yellow card though I'm not sure to whom. And then it appears as though he's changed his mind and has awarded Chatterton a free kick right on the edge of the area. And on this particular incident, you've got to say well done to the referee for taking the advice of his linesman and awarding the correct decision. To the dismay of Chatterton though it may be. And Morris looks to curl it over the wall with the outside of his boot, but it simply comes off them and it's a simple take for Christopher. Tui with the throw in finds Mather. He puts a cross into the box. In comes Quinn on the volley, but he side foots it over. Decent half chance that for Kieran Quinn, but he just couldn't keep it down. Morris to Gareth Edwards. 
into to the feet of Adam Edwards and the two combine. And Adam Edwards gets there ahead of O'Driscoll and this could be 2-0 as Edwards fires across the face of the goal and beyond the far post. Gareth Edwards finds Phoebe. Though under pressure, he manages to lay it off to Adam Edwards. Ball into the box, looking for Curly. Christopher takes. Curly fouls in. The ball drops into the back of the net, but the goal won't stand. Quite clearly, Curly clatters into Christopher as he takes the ball. Torpy delivers the free kick into the box. It's headed clear, and Phoebe will pick it up. And Phoebe plays it down into the channel looking for the run of Edwards. And there's only Tui back as Edwards looks up and spots Curly, who can not finish it after a dodgy pitch intervenes. And AFC Liverpool have a lucky escape. O'Driscoll leaves it for Christopher. Long clearance downfield. Lovely control by Thomas and then a first time shot, which goes wide of the upright. Edwards with the throw in. And Melvin gives it a big hoof downfield. O'Driscoll doesn't deal with that very well and it breaks for Curly, who goes for a lob over Christopher, but it's beyond the far post. Tui with the throw in finds Gibbons. He holds off the challenge and lays it back to O'Driscoll who has the time to look up and pick out a man. And he picks out Steve Corris, but his header is straight at Swanson. And what an opportunity for Corris to snatch a late equaliser for AFC Liverpool. Shaw wins the header against McCluskey. Thomas picks it up, gets past Hughes, rolls it off to Corris. He lines himself up for a shot, goes for goal, and he isn't too far wide. And Steve Corris can certainly strike the ball from that distance. Maybe has AFC Liverpool's last chance of the game. Curley, who holds off the challenge of Corris, rolls it into the path of Edwards, who has a chance to make it 2-0 in the dying seconds, but he fires too close to Christopher, allowing the keeper to make the save. 